Hey guys, Sandy here, and I am back with my Citrus Twist Kit for September 2017. I've only created two layouts, so I have a ton of stuff in here to use. I still have some of those papers from Pink Fresh uh, that I'm not exactly crazy about, but there's also some other papers in here that are gorgeous that I absolutely love. So I'm not exactly sure which direction I'm going to go yet, but I'll figure that out shortly. Um, and then I have a bunch of... Of these things still too. Oh, it would be helpful if I showed you what I was scrapbooking, huh? So I'm scrapbooking this photo um, from taken at Pier 39 in San Francisco. All right, let's see what I can do. I started with the ready orangey paper on the bottom and just made some marks on my white American Crafts cardstock that came in the kit where the gray marks could be seen. So what I did was I just took some Liquitex paint, I thinned it out just a little bit, uh, and then just painted it right over top of that white cardstock. And when I put the cardstock back on the page here in a moment, you're going to be able to see that that gray paint kind of lines up where the gray lines poke out underneath of the white cardstock. Um, I really do like the colors of this paper. Like I think that this these three colors together are great. Like I love the gray. I love that ready orangey color and I love the white together. And because I did not um, gesso this and I did want it to stick into the paper, like soak in, I just went ahead and matted it or um, blot it. That was the word I was looking for. Blot it the paint. Now I wanted to bring in some navy. So what I did was take this uh, cloud paper print and it's from a Chamel Starshine paper pad and I just cut it out so you would just see the two blocks of navy paper and I'm going to tuck those underneath of the white cardstock so it looks like there is a navy strip running down that entire page but just underneath of the cardstock and I'm just using a sheet of paper here to line it up instead of pulling out my ruler um, because my ruler was across the room and the paper was handy. So, I mean, like, use what you have and make it easy for you, right? And I also decided to mat the photo. And I was just kind of looking around to see where exactly I should mat it. And I'm matting it with a very thin mat. So you can't even tell that this paper is a cloud paper. You just see some blue and white and teal on this mat. And that works for me. So what I decide to do is bring in some yellow now as well. So see that um, that label strip right up at the top of my layout? It has yellow and blue and the ready orange and gray and teal. I'm using that as my color palette. I literally am looking at that label strip, that cut apart label strip that's an exclusive in the kit. And I'm just looking at it and trying to figure out um, where where I should go next. So I do pull out this um, yellow paper and this is from my Rediscover Your Stash kit. This is not from my Citrus Twist kit um, along with that Chamel paper. It's not. Um, but I found that the other papers in the kit, I like them so much together that I didn't really want to use them for this part um, for this page. So that, I believe that is a Simple Stories little polka dot uh, pad. It is actually from a 6x6 six six paper pad. I believe it's Simple Stories. I could be wrong. So at this point, I think I'm going to repeat what I did last month, and that's take a hunk of the labels together and use them as one um, embellishment on the page. That doesn't happen with this layout. I thought it would be perfect because I was pulling all the colors together, and I didn't want it to seem so random. I want it to you be able to look at this page and go, oh, that's why she went with those colors and not as a, oh, why is she going with those colors? But it doesn't happen. I end up changing my mind uh, with what I do. And I, you know, I'm trying to make it work. And I think it's working, <laughs> but not really. Okay, so I decide to uh, dive into my Rediscover Your Stash Kit a little bit more. And this circle sticker is from KI Memories and it is older than dirt but it's still sticky and it's still working so that works for me. I went and pulled uh, a little part of this Echo Park uh, paper. I'm not sure which line it's from. It's 
probably from an older line because this is also in the Rediscover Your Stash Kit. It's a bokeh print. And I'm just layering these two together, um, trying to really emphasize that vertical element that's going on here. My photo's vertical. I want these, these lines to, you know, emphasize a little bit. And I'm just figuring out where I can tuck the stickers over top of the photo so that it kind of um, lines up nicely. And I'm still trying to get that label sticker there, but it, it doesn't happen. So what I, my plan is, this is the plan. So I have all these die cuts from that pink fresh um, ephemera pack and it's Escape the Ordinary is the name of it. And it's definitely escaping my ordinary um, because it's just not, um, I'm just not used to it, I should say. So excuse my head, that was my head hitting the camera uh, right there. Okay, so I'm pulling out the Amy Tangerine thickers and I'm going to title this Stay Wild because the sea lions are wild sea lions. They kind of just come out and hang out at Pier 39 and it's pretty cool. Like you're not allowed to touch them. You're not allowed to interact with them. You just kind of sit on the end of this little dock area and watch them. And if you've never been to San Francisco and you've never been to Pier 39, um, like take a trip, go, go down to Pier 39, check out these sea lions. They, a lot of times, a lot of them are just laying there sleeping, but they do have some fun moments where they kind of bark at each other and, um, play dominance games and it's a lot of fun. So definitely, definitely check that out if you can. It's just, if, if you like animals, if you like the water, if you just like having a fun time, I totally recommend it. All right. So what I'm doing now is creating these little cluster areas and I'm taking a bunch of, um, of these die cuts from that pack and just trying to figure out something so that I can use them and they're not, they're not as, um, motivational. That's, I feel like this, this line is very motivational and I'm not a very motivational person in my scrapbooking. It's kind of just like I do what I like and it's not really to motivate anyone. Um, so for this one, I realized that I should not have cut the top off of this hexagon and I'm going to rectify that sh here shortly. Um, I'm, ha I'm having a really hard time getting it to layer the way I want it to. So I just, I'm like, Zoop, we're just going to put that right on back. And then I'm like, duh, you were supposed to uh, put some he adhesive on there. So it would work. All right. And each of these colors that I've pulled in the die cut match that um, label sticker where I had all of those um, colors together. And I'm just making sure that I have that color in each one of these little uh, die cut clusters. And I'm just messing around and putting the stars um, around and just giving, giving it a little bit of oomph. I believe some of them go on Pop Tots. I want to say some of them do. And see that hexagon literally has, you cannot see what it says under there. You don't see the pursue magic. And I mean, if I was going to be doing like a Harry Potter page, that would be perfect. Or even, even something at Disney. If I was working on a Disney page, that would be perfect. But I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> I'm doing some San Francisco photos. And I'm just kind of messing around with these leaves and these uh, lines and trying to figure out what exactly looks the best because for some reason I'm struggling. I'm like struggling bad with this. And it's the simple fact that I'm not really I'm not really feeling the papers or the embellishments. Like it's not they're not they're not making me happy. They're not exciting me to play with my scrapbooking stuff, but you know what? I'm happy with the pages when they're finished. They might not be my exact normal thing that I do, but... Ooh, excuse me. I swear it's not... 
I see even voicing over is making me bored with this. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, I know I've said multiple times that I really didn't like this portion of the kit, but there's other parts of the kits that I absolutely loved. And I really think that that's one of the beauty things, a, a beauty thing. That's the beautiful thing about getting a kit. Um, you're getting new products. Like this, this is a new line from Pink Fresh. Um, you're getting new products. You're getting products you might not have purchased yourself, um, which is true. Um, some of these papers that I've received, um, I would not have purchased, and I didn't purchase. I actually had a pre-order for some of uh, the papers that are on this kit, and some of them I was like, no, I don't, I don't like that at all. Like that, the pink, um, like scalloped piece of paper that you'll see on another layout. <laughs> No, it's not even on this one. I really hated that paper online. Like I was like, that is horrible. But it came in, um, it came in the kit, and I loved it. It came in this this month's kit, so that's why I'm talking about it. Um, so I just pulled out that cut apart sheet again, and I cut apart some of these kind of arrow pieces, and I just wanted to bring it close. Bring the title in, bring that kind of wild paint in. And I know that in by no means of the world that that paint is wild all over the page, but it is kind of like boom there. So I just wanted to draw your attention into the title and the photo by using those kind of like weird arrow things. So these are these puffy dot stickers from Fancy Pants, and I have a bunch of them. I got them in a Fancy Pants Warehouse box um, a little ways back, and I love them. At first, I didn't like them because I was like, these are, these are weird. I'm like, Bruh. But I've been using them on almost all the pages I've been scrapbooking over the past month or so, and I'm sad that I'm actually running out of them. So I'm just going to sprinkle those around and... Um, I just kind of move them around the page. I thought about those Maggie Holmes buttons... Um, that came in the ephemera pack because that came in last month's citrus twist kit and I haven't used them um, But I, I, I have used them now this month, but um, I just don't have a process video for it um, But you'll see it on my um, Rediscover your stash final video Okay so I decide that I need a little bit more yellow up at the top that little yellow star really isn't enough I have this big block of yellow down the left side of the page. I have this arrow of yellow right at the title, so that's like there in your face. And I just felt like I needed to bring that up to the corner so that instead of the corner kind of just floating out there, it's bringing it in because it's it's pulling more of that color in. Even though it's just, see, it's just like the slight little amount, I feel like it pulls it Visually, it pulls it closer to that left-hand side of the page, and it's not just like some weird glob out there off to the right. All right, guys, um, this this thing I'm cutting out doesn't make it onto the page. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, you, let me know anything you'd like to let me know. Um, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time with another video. Bye!